Hi everyone, and welcome to the 10th week of Introduction to Causal Inference. This week we'll be covering causal discovery from observational data. A natural question is, what do I mean by causal discovery? And to motivate that, consider what we've been doing throughout this course. We've been doing causal inference, inferring causal effects, given some causal assumptions, basically where we assume that we have the causal graph. But what if we don't have the causal graph? That's what causal discovery is here for. So with causal discovery, our goal is to start from just data and then learn the causal graph from that data. Then if we wanted to infer causal effects from there, we can just apply stuff that we've learned earlier in the course. And I've used the word identification throughout the course. Now we're going to have a new sort of definition for identification. We're going to have structure identification, which we'll be talking about in this lecture. So whenever I say identify in this lecture, it's about if we can identify the causal graph. Identification of structure rather than of causal estimates. Here's the outline of this lecture. There's two main categories of methods that we'll see a bit of. The first is independence-based causal discovery in that we try to discover conditional independencies in the data and then use those to infer the causal graph. And then the second one is semi-parametric causal discovery. There we make some parametric assumptions about the functional form of how the data was generated and then leverage those assumptions to do causal discovery.